Uh, very well, thank you. It's always nice to be back here again. Um, yeah, since I moved back uh, 2004, I, uh, I played another... I thought when I moved back home that I was going to finish off with uh, maybe another two years of playing uh, for Gothenburg, but it ended up being five years and another 41 caps for the national team and two championships. So it worked out uh, better than I hoped for, really. And uh, after I retired uh, 2008, I've worked uh, coaching youngsters at the school connected to IFK Gothenburg and uh, really enjoying it. Is it nice to be able to give something back to the game and bring on the, the future generations of Swedish football? Yeah, I mean, um, I've had so much fun with the football throughout my whole life, really. Uh, that when I started as a kid playing football, it was yeah, the most fun uh, to do. And uh, I'm still lucky to be able to work with, with football. Let's just look back to your days at Everton, when you look back at, at that time, what are your best memories? Um, well, it, it was a bit... It started off well for me when I first came. Uh, I had a good start uh, to the club. I remember coming in the pre-season when I first came, uh, scoring, I think, five goals in five halves. Uh, but then uh, I was held back a bit by injuries during my time. So first two seasons I came on, played and then had a, an injury and got back. So, uh, But the first two, three seasons worked well. Then I was really disappointed, especially at myself for the last uh, year, year and a half, where I didn't perform as near as well as I know I could have done. Uh, I think after the World Cup 2002, when I came back, uh, I was a bit mentally tired and that slowly started when I was became yeah didn't the regular started and uh, on the side uh, I lost a bit of my confidence and then I should have been been stronger to 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 get back there but uh, luckily enough uh, when I look back at it it was an uh, yeah a learning time for me uh, it helped me a lot afterwards uh, to appreciate what, when when you you're playing well. I think it, it was my first big setback, the first time I, I ended up outside a, a starting eleven. So um, yeah, a bit dis looking back, a bit disappointed at myself uh, that I didn't do better for my last uh, year and a half at the club. I, I would really have uh, wanted to to do better for them. As you say, that you got off to a flying start. I think it was something like nine goals in, in your first pre-season. You couldn't yeah. really, coming from Sheffield Wednesday, you couldn't have hoped for a better start. No, it worked really well. I, I remember, the, I, I think we had a friendly against Man City at Goodison, the, the, the game before my first uh, Premier League start for, for Everton. And uh, got an ankle injury after I'd scored two. So... Uh, I remember traveling to Leeds for the first game and I uh, was in the stand with uh, like supporters that really wanted to play. So, But that was a bit the thing it went for me at the club. Uh, struggle a little bit with all kind of strange injuries that yeah, held me back from uh, reaching my best potential, I think. So a bit regretful for that and uh, that I, I couldn't keep my form going a little bit better but uh, yeah that's how it was at the time. Well, you were brought here by Walter Smith, uh, yeah. what was it like working under, under Walter and Archie Knox as well? Um, well I know since when I played for Gothenburg in the, we played in the Champions League the year 96-97 we knocked out Glasgow Rangers in the, the qualification stage uh, and I know that uh, after that he, he knew who I was. So after my year at uh, Sheffield Wednesday, I, I know that the manager wanted me to come here. So I enjoyed playing. We, di we didn't have the best of seasons uh, those, year those years. It were quite a few new players and we didn't really settle as a team. So a bit up and down. One season we did okay and the other one we, we struggled a bit. So was hard to, to get going as a team, but uh, I enjoyed playing under him. Archie, he could be uh, quite strict. Well, I, I think you can say he was sort of the, the old school of the coaching. Uh, 
Uh, sometimes it, it helped off with, the, with someone telling you off a bit when you didn't do your job. Sometimes we wanted something <laughs> different maybe, but in, in total I, I enjoyed playing for them. They must have been good times at, at Belfield as well because you had characters the likes of Gaza there at the time <laughs> as there, well. There were a few characters coming and going d during the, those years. Gaza, as you said, we had Dav David Ginola for a short spell, Gravison, the ma Mad Dane. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, there was quite a few characters uh, around, Abel Xa Xavier as well. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun time. What are your favourite stories from, from those times? Oh, uh, well, I can't, I can hardly remember them all, but I remember when Ginola made his first uh, training that Gessa came out with a wig in the, in, in the warm-up, and yeah, there was all sorts of things going on. Uh, with Gessa around, you, you were never safe of uh, what could happen. How much did that help the atmosphere and the camaraderie in the team at that time? Yeah, I think it's important in all squads that you have a, a good atmosphere and a few laughs sometimes. Uh, th that obviously helps. Uh, if it's too serious uh, the whole time, it, it, I mean, you need a bit of laughs as well to, to get that uh, squad feeling going. Yeah, the likes of David Unsworth, Duncan Ferguson coaching here now. How important do you think it is for Everton to still have those ties with its former players? I think it's very good. Uh, I mean, you get a connection, you get someone who, who's been there and can tell them importance. I mean, uh, and you see players who, who stay longer at Everton. I mean, play like Leighton Baines, he, I guess he's had offers from many, but decided to, to stay at the club. I think it's important to have those uh, with a big heart for the club uh, and I think that's what you get I mean I was here for four years and I, I got still big feelings for the club and I really hoping they're doing well so I think that's great when you can get that atmosphere and, and keep the players at the club longer. He was a decent player, Nicholas, wasn't he, Diamond? He was. Re reliable yeah. is the word that I'd probably use for Nicholas. You know, he was, you know, he pitched away with his with his goals, great work rate as well, good attitude, and you know, played played plenty of times for Sweden as well. So no, all in all, a really good all round player. He was a steady Eddie, wasn't he? And, and you need those in your squad, don't you? Well, if you're a manager and you know you're going to get a seven, eight out of ten every week out of a certain player then you're quite happy. And I think every manager who's probably worked with Nicholas would say that, you know, yeah. that they were pretty confident that he'd give them everything that he'd got 